Uh, Mayor's Month of Concern. City staff donated time at local grocers and also collected our own food donations in September for the Mayor's Month of Concern for the Hungry. This is a benefit for the Issaquah Food and Clothing Bank. We dropped off 712 pounds of food, more than doubled last year's record, giving us a new donation record for the city. Regionally, the Food and Clothing Bank received 23,292 pounds of food and toiletries. That's 11.65 tons of goods. I also want to talk a little bit about Salmon Days and appreciated that um, Brenda from the Chamber came tonight to tell you it was a success. We estimate that approximately 130,000 uh, festival-loving friends came to <coughs> attend this year. There were 80 entries in the parade, 70 local nonprofits had fundraising activities during the festival. Our local Esquire robotics team added new and exciting activities to the field of fun. We had 34 farm market, farmers market vendors and 55 food vendors, 298 <coughs> artists, 14 wineries in the new wine tasting area, 932 paid attendees of the carnival over at Issaquah uh, Elementary, Issaquah Valley Elementary, and 50 sponsors who contributed over $300,000 to the event. This event takes 477 volunteers over the three days to run. It's quite, quite an event to pull off. I want to thank the city's parks and recreation department, police department, and all the city staff, along with Eastside Fire and Rescue, who worked on this chamber event with all of these amazing sponsors and volunteers. The last item in the mayor's report today is a little update on the 62nd Street project. Cannot wait for this to open. <laughs> <laughs> I toured this project on Friday, October 5th and was thrilled to see the progress. A few of the highlights, Pickering Trail from 4th to Pickering Barn is already open to the public. The bridge construction is completed and they are doing ongoing finish work on the structure. The King County Trail undercrossing structure is built and not only looks really cool, but provides separation of the trail users from the roundabout. And the numerous utilities in the area have all been reconstructed and are just waiting final approval. Contractor is currently working six 10 hour days each week to try and get the road bridge and King County East Lakes Mammoth Trail open by the end of the year so we can get this critically important undercrossing reopened. So thank you for being patient. I also just wanted to add on um, a little update on the Bergsma property since we had so many members of the public this evening show up from the say Cougar Mountain Group. Um, we are still partnering with the Trust for Public Land and exploring the um, acquisition options for this parcel known as Bergsma property. It's a very complex opportunity and it will take multiple solutions. Uh, I had reported earlier in the summer that there was an option to purchase agreement that TPL had attained from the owner. And that agreement allowed for an appraisal of the property to be initiated. While the appraisal work was underway and now has been underway and is now nearing completion, the city and the Trust for Public Lands have continued to identify and explore numerous funding opportunities that would be needed for any acquisition scenario. And specific details of the work cannot be publicly shared tonight. However, we are hopeful that we will be able to share details of this work pu publicly in the coming month or two should an acquisition be negotiated. So thank you for being patient.